they're they're all they're not dead. No, some no. of them are, are. They're still moving very 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 they're, little. They're cold stunned. Amy, John here. I'm on uh, Ben's phone. We're at Barracuda, just arrived, and uh, a guy just told us about this. I mean, it is covered friggin' up with turtles. Just can't believe. Isn't this crazy? What? This is just unbelievable. I mean, in the, in the seaweed, in the grass. I'm gonna start up there and get as many out of there as we can get. Three, four, five. See, he's still alive. See him move? So the temperatures dropped extra low last night. We got below freezing. We had really, really high winds. And so with the combination of really high winds and those freezing temperatures, we had a really large cold stunning event. So what happens is the turtles, they get basically shocked. They can't swim, they float at the surface. So we had them floating at the surface, boats were bringing them in with those high winds. We also had a lot of turtles that were pushed into shores and in various different areas, depending on uh, the location and the winds. And so we got pockets of large, large numbers of turtles in different areas. And so we are just getting as many in as we can and getting them, you know, indoors and start to slowly warm them back up. This is not typical. This is basically uh, an extraordinary event. We typically would have power in these types of situations so that we could see to do the work that we're doing so that we're not scrambling to find heat sources, things like that. don't know much about these things. I know they can slow their heart rate down to where they don't use much oxygen and stuff like that. In fact, when they get really cold, their heart rate can lower to just one beat every couple of minutes. So it can be very difficult to determine whether a cold sun turtle is live or dead. So what we do is any turtle that anyone finds, even if you think it's dead, definitely bring it into your vehicle and bring it to us. What we will do is we will keep them in warm temperatures for about 24 hours. And after that 24 hours, that's when we can determine if they are truly dead or if they were just cold stunned and coming back to life. Never in the United States has there been a cold stun event since we started recording cold stun events that is anywhere near the size of this event. Can't even get across anymore, can you? No, well, they're moving. Some of them are awake. And I think that says a lot because it shows exactly what we've been doing for the last eight days. The, the operational execution, the people, the passion, the community outreach, the education of the community that we have managed to accomplish over the years. It really shows a testament to why Sea Turtle Inc. was able to approach, attack, and execute such a mammoth undertaking with our current resources and our current staff.